The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. <clears throat> but Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and do not be afraid. And when the disciple raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. <clears throat> the Gospel of the Lord. The mystery of the Transfiguration is a beautiful mystery for us to meditate on, to enter into, to receive the graces from. And we have to kind of go back a little bit. Why did Jesus lead Peter, James, and John up that mountain? Well, we know mountains, also in the Old Testament, are the places where God shows his glory, his manifestation his reality, his authenticity. But also we know that as they've been journeying and they're getting closer to Jerusalem, Jesus begins to tell them of his plan, his plan of his death and crucifixion. And it overwhelms them. How they see Jesus doing all these incredible things, you know, loaves, loaves and fishes multiplied, healings, demons expelled. That can't be the plan. And so even though they kept a lot of it to themselves, Jesus knows in their hearts they're discouraged. And so he, he brings three of them up the mountain to have this experience so that they will have hope uh, to overcome the fear. And they'll have this in their memory even at Jesus' death and resurrection. And so he leads them to give them hope. We all, at times, can fall into despair and discouragement for things in our own lives or those things that are from what outside of us. But all through the day is God's glory. His glory is manifested all over the place. There are transfiguration moments. And if we take our eyes off of Jesus, that we can very easily miss these moments. And like the Transfiguration, there are moments that come, but you can't grasp them. Uh, you, can't, you can't pack them up. You can't put them in your fridge. You can't put them in a safe. Uh, they're for that moment to strengthen us. But then we have to keep, keep going on. 
I was thinking of some of moments of transfiguration for myself. Last Friday, I was very blessed to be at, on an island on Lake Winnipesaukee. Beautiful view, I was sitting outside, beautiful view on a boathouse, looking at the incredible view of the lake and the mountains. And even, God was very kind to me that day, a beautiful bald eagle that went right over me. I think I've seen maybe five times in my life a bald eagle. And as I was looking at this, I said, Lord, I, I see your glory in nature. And it strengthened me. And it's a good memory, but I, I couldn't hold on to it. I can't keep it. Or I think of another example. Uh, God has blessed me with incredible friends. Maybe I don't deserve it, but he sent, he sent me some of the best people, I think, in the world. And even when I'm with them, and I'm, I see God's glory, but I can't hold on to them either. Uh, he gives me the, the, as a gift, but we keep going on. And then probably the most significant is the Holy Eucharist, the Blessed Sacrament. We had adoration yesterday. Father Bart and I heard confessions, and people were here adoring the Lord, or here at Holy Mass, the most powerful experience of God's glory, showing himself to us. But even with that, I can't hold on to it. Uh, I can't keep it. I uh, were told after Mass, go out to bring Jesus into the world. Only when I'm in heaven will I experience his glory eternally. It will never stop. But in God's mercy and his compassion for us and all that we go through, he gives us these moments of transfiguration, of his glory, of his life. Do you know, do you see God's glory? Have you seen God's glory today? Did you see God's glory yesterday? Are you attentive to it? Think about it. Think about it today. Ask the Lord, ask the Holy Spirit. Say, this is the mystery of the transfiguration today. Lord, show me your glory. But realize, like James, Peter and John, they, they could not keep it. They couldn't hold on to it. It was that moment that, and we hear in the gospel, Jesus touched them. And so he touches us with those moments of glory, but then we continue to work for his kingdom. We continue on. Let us pray for one another as we continue the Holy Mass. Pray that in the power of the Eucharist, that we may experience his glory and bring his love and mercy out into the world. Regina Jenny, let our